Hello, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to discuss how to define yourself for an interview. Uh, there's a huge range of potential questions uh, but these are the six questions that come up so often that it's worth spending some time on them and for each of these questions you should have an answer solidly prepared so that uh, it's not only knowing what you are going to say but actually rehearsing for the answers you are going to give. So the first question is tell me a bit about yourself. This is the pitch guys. Uh, many interviewers will kick off the session with this question that tell me about yourself and in fact uh, over the course of a full day of interviews you can almost guarantee that you'll get this question for sure. You should prepare for uh, a solid pitch about your background, accomplishments and interests and this is not the time you just read off your resume or blah 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 about your resume, personal life. Uh, rather pick up a few things you'd like your interviewer to know about and this is the opportunity to connect you, your experience with the job you are interviewing for. So let's consider this pitch. Uh, when the interviewer asks that uh, tell me something about yourself then I say sure I'd love to. I'm currently a product manager at MapSign where I've been for the last two years and I got into product management by accident uh, but found out that I loved working with customers. A lot of people see technology as forcing complexity into their lives but I don't think it has a it has to be that way. I think listening to customers, understanding exactly what their issues are and figuring out how technologies can simplify, simplify their lives. Uh, after I graduated from college, I joined a small startup called uh, Neil Rai as a software engineer. Uh, we were doing okay, but uh, it didn't just look like we were getting that hockey uh, stick hockey stick growth that everyone talks about and I know a bit around about the restaurant industry from my family's restaurant growing up and uh, I proposed pivoting to focus on giving restaurants more visibility into their uh, suppliers. I talked with a bunch of restaurants to validate this problem and successfully convinced the team to shift gears. I also stepped in product management where I stayed for several years, eventually leading a team of four product managers and I'm currently a product manager with MapSign uh, where I am managing the personalization features. Uh, I recently launched a feature which allows users to create their own maps which was actually created on a whim of a hackathon I participated in uh, but it turned out that users really loved this. Uh, it allowed them to tell a story whereas previously people used to uh, use our product mostly uh, privately now people are uh, sharing their maps with families and friends this has resulted in uh, about a 15 percent of increase in paying users uh, i can go into more detail about my work or at map sign if you'd like outside of work i do a bit of coding of for fun participating in hackathon like the one i just mentioned and i also run a blog focused on new york city music scene uh, I manage a team of 10 writers, mostly college students, who are happy to write for free and we get about uh, 2 million visits per month and I'm looking for, uh, I'm now looking for a role at an early stage company where I'm be, I'll be able to take a single product from conception through a launch and I think my experience as a developer and as a product manager who works cross-functionally will give me the background to work with and even take on some responsibilities uh, several of, of the other several roles and that's a lot of what interests me in the role and it's at a perfect time for me to dive in into an early stage startup and closely relate to the 
personalization work that I'm doing right now. So in this pitch, the candidate has walked the interviewer through his background while sprinkling some of the stories with the key accomplishments and connecting the different accomplishments together and prompting the uh, interviewer to ask more about the area where he shined. He's He has formed a cohesive story about what he's good and uh, why he loves being a product manager. So uh, design your pitch by thinking about what you want and the interviewer, uh, what you want the interviewer to know uh, about your background, experience, interest, where possible connect elements to your pitch to what the company is looking for and whether that's an expect of a PM role uh, specifically or the company's product. Additionally, keep some of the, these do's and don'ts in the mind. So do be mindful of how long you speak. Your interviewer will be judging you in part on your communication skills and no one likes a rambler. A good rule of thumb is to speak one or two times as long as your interviewer did if she introduced herself. Otherwise, uh, about two minutes is a good guide. Also. Do highlight that most interesting or relevant part of your job which you are interviewing for. This is the opportunity to sell yourselves. What you don't have to do is don't just list all the accomplishments out of your resume that can come off as too beautiful and your interviewer might even get lost in the details. Your pitch should be cohesive story about how you got from then to now and it should connect the different elements of your life and offer context for why you are a good fit for this role. Also, don't get overly technical. It's great if you have some very technical experience but your interviewer wants to hear in more straightforward language what and why that work is important. After all the product managers you need to communicate with both technical and non-technical people. So don't be too much technical. Also, do discuss your technical extracurricular activities wherever relevant. For example, if you are applying to a fitness-related startup and you have a uh, and you have started a marathon training group, that's a good thing to mention about there. And it's it. It also shows a passion for the space and possibly even expertise in it. And even when the extracurricular activities are not directly applicable, they can often show as an initiative or a leadership skill. So you, it's good to mention that. Then do practice. It's almost a guarantee that you'll be asked for your pitch. So it's silly to be unprepared and grab a friend, let them hear your pitch and how does it sound to them uh, you might even want to record it and pitch it to yourselves and uh, hear it out that how does it sound you should not speak too abstractly in the interviews because uh, especially while defining yourself because instead of just saying you did a customer research and wrote specs talk about an example of something uh, important you learned and how you changed the product design based on that also don't be boring and just rattle off a bunch of facts about yourself uh, weave your pitch with a minimum story and it will be smoother so last thing do be passionate and proud of your past work because sometimes people just say out their good and excellent skills uh, and their stories but it's not passionate enough and they are not just proud of so be modest but not too much then uh, you should look forward to this question and this is the opportunity to, to sell your interviewer on why you are a perfect candidate and you'll be perfectly prepared to do so. Thank you. In the next video, we're going to talk about why do you want to work your question. It is another part of defining yourself for an interview. So stay tuned. Till then, don't forget to share, subscribe and like my channel.